Alright, hello YouTube and uh, welcome. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to install and play games on DOSBox. Uh, I know when I first used DOSBox it was very confusing and I didn't get anything. Um, so I'm gonna help you with that. The first thing you, uh, you have to do is uh, go download DOSBox. It's free and it's legal to download. Um, I will put a link in the description but I won't be showing you how to download it. I, I'm guessing you can do that yourself. Uh, but what you do is you then open it uh, open the program. Here we go. Uh, now this is DustBox. This is how it looks. And if you've never played with DustBox before, this will look confusing. And I understand that. Um, I also have to tell you in this tutorial, I will only be showing you how to, you know, install and play a game uh, and nothing else. So, um, but the first thing you have to do is make a folder. Here we have it. Old games. I've just called it all games, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and uh, what we have to do with this folder is we have to mount it so we can get inside it. That sounds really wrong, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna write uh, mount, then C, uh, because we're calling it C, we can call it anything, uh, but we're calling it we're calling it C, and then C again uh, as the, uh, you know, in the C drive. You have to put this uh, in, in the C drive, directly in the C drive, not in anything else, because that will make it way too... Uh, Difficult. Um, well, not real, but you know what I mean. Uh, so C there, and old games. That will mount that. That uh, now we have mounted the uh, old games folder as C. So what we're gonna do now is write this. I hope you can see it. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. Do something <laughs> about the video. There we go. Now we're in the C drive, which means we're in the old games uh, folder. So uh, these are the games I have. You can uh, get a lot of these games free uh, and legally. For example, Arena and Daggerfall, they're both uh, free on the Elder Scrolls website. Um, uh, but today we're going to be installing Sims 2, because that's the easiest one. So we're going to write CD. Uh, you always have to write CD if you're going if you're going to install something, uh, I think. So we're writing CD and then Sim 2, as in the folder name. And then we're uh, pressing enter. And now we're in the Sim 2 folder. Now. What we can do now is we can either open the install file or we can open the uh, game file because I'm pretty sure some of these install files I'm not sure how it works to be honest but some of these games you can just play them directly um, but if you want to we can go into the install files that's pretty much usually just set up uh, as you can see here it's not amazing <laughs> speed to be honest but it's there uh, and don't mind this your computer has only, uh, my computer has uh, enough RAM, way more than I need uh, for this, but it will usually give you a warning and you just have to live with that. And you can write continue, or press continue, and now we get into a settings uh, folder thingy. Um, there we go. And you know, you can change music and all that crap, but we don't really need that to be honest. Settings complete, enjoy some city, uh, but some games you have to install. Uh, like Arena, I remember having to install that completely. So sometimes you can't do this. Uh, but what we can do now is we can go into uh, C, uh, SC2000. There we go. And now, uh, there we go. Now we're in a uh, DOSBox game. So uh, that's pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I'm not actually going to play this, but but now you know. This is how you do it. It it's it's pretty easy. Uh, to be honest, it's not that hard um, if you're only gonna play games. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just post it in the comments and I will answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, so, uh, yeah, goodbye for now. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed.